let's go back to this. So I was talking about how we blocked values, right? We blocked when we wanted to get a value from a mono. What we forgot is that we can return, or what we didn't cover at the time, is that we can return an event, an actual value, or we can return an error, or we can just return a completion event and the value is zero. Okay, now how do you handle it? This code here, it just assumes that you're gonna get one value no matter what, right? You're assigning it to an integer value, right? Now, how do you handle that? Going back to this, how do we handle errors when you wanna block? How do we handle errors in general? Okay, how do we handle errors? So here is the exercise. We have a couple of unresponsive fluxes, you know, unresponsive streams. You have an unresponsive flux, and an unresponsive more mono. Is it an irresponsive? I don't know English. It's something that doesn't respond, okay? Now what you wanna do is get the value from the mono into a string variable, but wait for five seconds. After five seconds, just give up, okay? Because what if, what if it doesn't return, right? There's a possibility that it never returns, there's a possibility that it could it could error out. Error out is a different issue. We'll talk about that. But this one's not error, right? This one's unresponsive. It never returns a complete signal. Okay, how do you handle that? Let's start from there. So here, if you go look at the block signature, reactive sources dot unresponsive mono dot block. If you were to just do this, it's going to be blocked forever. Okay, because it never responds. Oh, it's a string. Okay, it's gonna never respond. What you can do though is use a signature, an alternative signature in the block, which is the duration. You can set a timeout, okay? So which is of the duration type. Duration of seconds, let's say five seconds, right? I'm basically saying I'm gonna wait for five seconds for this thing to respond. If it doesn't respond after that, I'm gonna give up, which is exactly what's mentioned over here. Okay, so this does exactly what you would expect. It's gonna wait for five seconds, otherwise it's never gonna respond, right? You're basically stuck. So you see here now, What's the value? That's a problem, right? If it, if it gives up, what's the value? Well, there isn't a value because it did not respond. So it cannot have a successful completion. What you have is a timeout. You have a timeout on blocking read for five seconds. Okay? You have a timeout here. This is happening because you've set the timeout, right? And it fails with an error. If it completes by then, great. You're going to get the result, but if it doesn't complete, you're going to get that error. All right. So we have a way for you to handle this for unresponsive flux as well. Okay. But I'm going to come back to this after we've learned about operators. We're not ready yet. Okay. We have to talk about operators. And I think that's literally the next thing. We're going to do this after the break and we're going to come back and talk about how to do this as well. How do you do? How do you get value from an unresponsive flux into a string list, but then give up? Okay.